Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dawn. I want to thank you for joining me for another tutorial. Today I'm using the Whimsy Stamp Snow Monster Stamp Set. This is a 10 piece stamp set and it comes with two images and eight sentiments. So let's get started. I'm going to use this blue snowy background from the Whimsy Stamps Blurry Flurry Paper Pack and I trimmed it down to four by five and a quarter inches and then I'm just gonna set it aside for later. I stamped my image with a black Copic friendly ink and then I cut it out with my brother's scan and cut but you could easily fussy cut this image out. Then I'm going to take the two largest rectangles from the notched rectangle and ticket die set and I'm gonna tape them together so I can make a frame for my shaker window. I'll die cut it from a piece of blue cardstock, and then I will die cut it four more times from a piece of white cardstock just to give it dimension so the insides can shake around. I take a piece of acetate and cut it down to size to fit behind the blue rectangle frame, making sure to cut the corners of the acetate off for the notched corners of the frame. I glue all of the white frames together with liquid glue. And then I take some 1 8 inch score tape and put it all around the blue frame. I like to use score tape rather than liquid glue when attaching my acetate because the acetate can move all around and then the glue gets everywhere and for me it's just a nightmare. Anyway, I just pull off all the release paper and then I attach the acetate on top of the score tape. Now I'm going to fill my shaker card. I had this bag of fake snow I had bought. I thought it would look cute inside the shaker card since this is a card about snowboarding fun. And so I just take a little bit of the snow and put it in the middle of the blurry furry, flurry pattern paper. And I mix in some blue and white sequence shaker bits that I had. And then I just kind of mix it all together. I think the pattern paper complements the inside uh, shaker bits. I adhere the blue frame on top of the white frames. I adhere the frames over the top of all the shaker bits. And while I love how it turned out, I feel like maybe I put a little bit too much of the snow and sequence in and it really doesn't shake around a whole lot but I still love how it turned out and I think it came out pretty nice. So when filling your shaker card be aware of how much you're sticking in the middle of it. Here I'm going to do some quick Copic coloring. I color in the middle of the monster's ears with some R11 pale cherry and then I blend it in with some C1 cool gray. For the teeth and eyebrows, I use some number zero neutral gray. And then I outline the edge of the body with some C5 cool gray because I want the outer edge to be a little on the darker side. Then I go all around where I put the C5 and I blend it with C3 cool gray. And I just take some of the C1 cool gray and then blend it all together. This will make the inner parts of the monster's body lighter and the outer edge darker. I shade in his eyes with some number zero neutral gray. And for the scarf, I alternate colors using R17 lipstick orange and Y13 lemon yellow. I colored the bigger sections with the R17 and the smaller sections with the Y13. And finally, for the snowboard, I used some R29 Lipstick Red for the outer edge of the snowboard. And then I came in with some R27 and blended it with the R29. I colored in most of the snowboard with the R27. And then I came in with some R24 Prawn to color in the remaining part of the snowboard. And then I just kind of blended it all together. And to finish off the card, I want to heat emboss my sentiments. I'm going to use my Misty Stamping Tool for this. I prep my paper with some embossing powder bag. I cover the sentiment with Versamark ink. And then I pour some Ranger Silver Embossing Powder onto the sentiment. And when my heat tool is good and hot, I heat emboss the sentiment. I trim the sentiment down to the size I want it. 
I put foam tape on the back of my image and adhere it to the right side of the shaker window. I put foam tape on the sentiments and adhere them where I want them to go on the card. I adhere the card front to a white card base I cut and folded to an A2 size card. You can see all the nice snow and shaker bits in the window which makes this a cute and fun card. And that will complete my card for today. I would love for you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the card. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and new product releases. As always, thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day.